We just got Albania or Iberia achievement. We are also about to hit 100k subscribers in the near future. I actually plan to do this before my daughter is born in just two months. So let me speed this up. And this way you can get notified about all the future content coming. Time for the third and final episode of our Albania campaign, where our goal is to get Albania or Iberia achievement to get that we need whole Caucasia this is already done I just need one more province and whole Iberia this is gonna be far harder but remember that in the last session we killed well started killing Spain but we've got Aragon with all of those scores and Leon with all of those scores released as our vassal so use them in the next wars. In the meantime, while we'll be getting whole Iberia, the plan will be to clear the borders, not only over here with the Ottomans, but in general in the Mediterranean Sea to have really beautiful Albania at the very end of the campaign. To do that, I will start with the war against Venice. They are excommunicated, so aggressive expansion for taking their provinces is gonna be far lower. 50% I guess expansion, huh? Worth it, let's just go. Too bad Commonwealth and Austria don't want to help us, but if I go to Austria, I ask them to prepare for war. Let's declare. Remember, Austria is having all of these subjects, so the war will be far easier. Next diplomatic idea is plus two diplomatic reputation, so in case I'll be wanting to annex a vassal, we are stuck in these modifiers. Against Provence, I want to break the alliance with France, break the alliance with Spain, and take as much money as they're gonna accept. That's really not that much. The key goal we achieved, and I can go and finally peace out. Venetians and as for the Venetians, I definitely gonna take my free claims as well as freely to just connect my lands. That's actually no August expansion. I will also go and get full money as well as the war reparations. Just take a look at this. And of course, all of the Italian provinces are going to the trade company, and I guess expansion impact is just fine. Mr. Grada, time for Alhambra. I have some manpower, so let me just do it. One, two, one, two, three. Wait a month. Now the second level of this monument costs two and a half thousand ducats, but we do have the one person loss that could be taken here, so let's just take them, that's four thousand. Let's do this, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one manpower. This is gonna finish soon, while in the meantime I'll be saving for this, but I think I'll anyway sell my titles. Then I'm gonna seize my lands to keep it over 20, and that's another money that we'll be slowly saving for the highest level of this monument. We have 1000 mil points, and so I had in the deck. Let's just go and have some fun with the death kicks. I'll just do this, then I'll go to Athena, and we are only deving with uh, the mil points because I don't have Alvin and the Diplo points to do so. So we just do this, I can actually get rid of the devastation, and that might be a main goal to do it because I know it's raided that's why there's devastation and the raiding will continue but I'm planning to get rid of the raiders so that might be the first step to achieve that. While I'm waiting for my truce with the Ottomans to end I told you I wanted to clear the borders all around here. I'm gonna get a claim on Tlemcen and attack them to start clearing the borders and prevent them from raiding me. I don't want to take much from Tlemcen, it's pretty much only the coastline to block them from raiding and as soon as they're gonna accept that we need to get ready for the war of the Ottomans because the truce is ending in the next year. Ah, and taking these provinces hit me over 1000 development which means that we've got an, an Albanian empire with the South Slavic culture united. Mamluks finally managed to start winning a war against the Ottomans, but Ottomans still have 42,000 troops. Mamluks has 45, so they're barely winning this war against half the Ottomans. And they're barely winning because Ottomans are having all of the army in Lakia. They are still here. We should also start improving around to level 3. To do that, I need to take loans. So it's gonna be two, 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 two. Then 5,000 to improve it to level 3, and now I'll be mainly spending my manpower on speeding this up because money will go on repaying the loans that I just took. Now I'd really love to keep these Ottomans in this mountain province forever, but it's time to start conquering them again. I'll go over the Congress of Kutai because I have troops next by, and they'll call only Commonwealth because Austria will want to take these provinces, and I don't want to give them those, so let me declare the war. And I'll not even go and attack Ottoman troops here, because it's a mountain province. At least I can take down 4,000 troops, that's a starter. Well, oh, that's even better. I got them to go straight to the Kunja, which is a mountain fort, and I really prefer to defend on the mountain fort than attack on the mountain fort. So I'm just shift consolidate my troops, and that should be a fairly easy battle, I believe. 
Yeah, 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 that's actually fine. They are only going to Lakia. Why are you running away to Lakia? What are you doing, Mr. Ottoman? Actually, you do lack two provinces in Caucasia to get the achievement. It's Lakia as well as Astara. So let me go and try sieging this down. Okay, Mr. Ajem, I need your province for the achievement. So please give me that as well as all of the money. That's also 50 admin mana. So I'm hitting the admin mana cap. Uh, I don't know how to spend it. I don't have inflation. Uh, I have free stability. Let me just simply death twice and we need to slowly head into piecing out ottomans i'm actually also hitting the mill points cap let me just use that to get some additional generals that may be there because i don't want to take the technologies ahead of time and that's for the peace deal i want to clear borders in europe clear borders in anatolia except taking the capital because it's additional war score cost let's do it we're gonna keep fixing these borders and take a look that that's a hundred and sixty eight percent of overextension because I have a bonus to the province war score cost from here as well as our diplomatic ideas. So these provinces were far cheaper to take. As in the past I'm adding all of the provinces Constantinople trade nodes to a trade company and same in the Crimea. Because we need, yes, additional merchant that is gonna come from the Anatolian trade company and as for the Crimean it's 41.6%. So theoretically if I just go for example over here can't improve the trade center, but what if we invest into the trade power and maybe even additional from another province because right now it's already 46.7. Well, I just need to invest it one more time. There goes the last diplomatic idea. That's diplomatic cost, lower impact on stability from diplomatic actions. So for example, I can break my royal marriages for free. That's 15% maximum power. So it's right now 100,000 as well as new policies. That is a new diplomat to improve relations as well as a force limit modifier to clutter with diplomatic reputation, which I just don't need yet. Oi, 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 I did not call Austria against Ottoman, so they're just blowing this team off on France. If you're wondering what is a hand 68 over extension doing to us, let me decrease war exhaustion. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different rebel stacks came in just two months, and this is actually problematic. I'm just gonna slacken my recruitment, and I need to get additional troops to fight with the Shrebbers. Council of Trent just started, so you can choose what we stand for in the papacy. So is it conciliatory that is giving improved relations, or is it harsh that is giving us a missionary strength, and I will definitely go for the improved relations which will be needed for our aggressive expansion. And I here I also go for the manpower recovery speed bonus. I did terrible mistake of taking new units in the middle of the war, without checking if I have enemy troops next by, but... I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move. I should be able to run away with this stack on the ships. So they are perfectly safe. Just go on the ship and run away to Granada. I could get whole Portugal in this war, but I want to split it on two wars to not get too much of aggressive expansion. So I'm taking south from Portugal, Malaga, as well as the Mediterranean Sea provinces in Africa. On top of that, as much money as they're gonna accept, so absolutely nothing. Please send it. I have some more GAF capacity now, so I'm gonna go and add all of the provinces in Sevilla to the trade company, which shouldn't be much of a trade power, because I don't have many trade centers yet. That's 15%. I think that I noticed that if I spend my money that they have, and Poland asks me for 160 ducats for favors, and I accept it, Nothing is being sent because I don't have this money. Easy, easy. Now, thanks to the modifiers that I stacked. So, mainly gold in Ira, trading in grass, neighbor bonus, amount of the ideas, diplomatic ideas, innovativeness. I can pay for this technology only 290 points. Now, if I also build my network on some of the tech 12, I would probably pay less than 200 points, but I didn't do that because I keep improving relations with different nations. Okay, Mr. Spain. Time to get partitioned together. Austria is gonna help me. I had a lot of free conquest castles bellies, and that's gonna be a conquest castles belly for Alicante for my Vansa Aragon. And yeah, that's actually good news because a second ago, Spain and Portugal were not allied when I was fighting Portugal. They allied each other just after the war. And it's good news for us because I can shorten my truce with Portugal this way. The only actual bad news is that I have to rush the Portuguese princes in Iberia because I forgot that I'm still coring some of their provinces there at the very end, 
But this is not big of a problem because of our extensions like not hurting us and I have pretty much no others in the provinces. Just a reminder, a second ago Austria just ruled over France, killed them completely in a separate war. Now they called them. Look, they have no troops defending the lands and there's plenty of French troops. I'm just a little bit scared that France is gonna rule over Austria this time. Again, breaking Portuguese relations with Spain and Great Britain while shortening the truth to just seven years from now. Thank you so much, let me finish the coring to the provinces and take down Spain. Please, Austria, can you start doing anything against France? You know what, I don't plan to play much of this campaign, I have plenty of iron provisions, let me just burn it. And we're gonna use it to speed up the Mr. Granada monument, because I want to finish it before the end of this war, so I'll be able to take more in the peace deal. So let's also take two loans, then just do this, and this way is just gonna end in the next year. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna take the independent company because I'm getting too vastly outnumbered in Iberia and I have money to maintain them. Now the AI is totally smarter and they have more troops than me over here. But what they don't have is a brain. So what are we gonna do? They just siege down both Toledo and Madrid, but there's no defenders here. This easy rush, just tick, 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 140 is back. It took them about a year to siege it down and it's gonna take me about two weeks to take it back. Another four, tick, tick. Tick, 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 goodbye. Impossible. Now I have to fight in Caceres somehow. I think with all of these new troops and that I got this fort and blockaded any potential reinforcements should be fine. I'll attack with my Merc stack first to save our manpower. Then slowly I'll start reinforcing with these boys. Why from these boys I'm gonna only send my cannons to have the back line to fight with something and that should be an easy one. That should be an easy one, thank you so much. Hello, hello, tick, 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 Thank you so much. That's more war score, getting them more exhausted. And I really want at least to white piece France out of it. I'm not even waiting to get more war score, but this is too risky. Just get them out for one person war score and focus on killing Spain. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Tuscany just got excommunicated and they are to Austria. Let me use that because Austria cannot help them and I'm gonna just conquer more provinces in Italy this way without getting much of aggressive expansion. It's free real estate. I also think that this stack of Spain is going straight to Gibraltar. So that's also free war score for us, thank you so much. And it's really hard to get a stack like 1.33, even in such a situation, but they're gonna die in Cadiz. Oh look, that's gonna be another stack of the Spaniards. And after this battle, I couldn't even show you to that. After this battle, they are left with 2000 troops. Okay, Mr. Tuscany, only these two provinces, all money and break relations with Austria, thank you so much. This is no August expansion. And then from Spain, I'm gonna take all of the course of Leon, majors of the calls of Aragon and those two provinces for myself as well as for money or maybe I'll actually instead of money and Sevilla I'll break the relations with France I think that might be of most of the use plus on top of that I'll also give Pyrenees to Aragon send this peace deal thank you so much this is also no I guess expansion just did a reconquest and our players map mode mm. It's looking beautiful. Let me start annexing Leon. That's gonna take only eight years. But remember, I'm gonna take a diplomatic reputation here. I'm gonna take this privilege from the nobility that we're talking about. And that is already only seven years. And remember, I also have this mission waiting for 25 years. I'll be also saving for this bonus for the Sent the Papal Legate. You can finally see more of Asia, but... Ooh, that's a huge soon. Okay, I wanted to say nothing interesting, but this is already interesting. India's kind of boring and we have a tiny Russia. I think the religious situation is also kind of interesting for us. Because uh, the two major Catholic nations, Austria and... Poland are highlight to us, when most of the Germans are either Protestants or Reformed. So when I'll be conquering most of Italy, there'll be no AE on these guys. I will only care about France, but France we have under control. By the way, look, now Siena is excommunicated. I keep using this opportunity because when I'm excommunicated, I'm getting claims, I think, on all of the provinces that are bordering me. So let me go and declare the war. Call come where we have plenty of favors and let's go and break them. I'm probably gonna white piece Venice and take them later by myself. As we are before Age of Absolutism, I keep 
increasing up for whatever is a problem is that it's close to get a revolt and I don't really have time to take care of it. It's not changing almost anything for our manpower or money, but it's changing a lot for how much time I need to spend on dealing with the rebels. And this way, we have completely no rebels in our whole country. With the manpower recovered, I can get rid of the smacks that I got recently and I'll have far more efficient stack, like for example 20 old 10. So enough infantry to, you know, scare off the enemies or fight smaller stacks and most importantly enough cannons to have the maximum bonus versus level 2 fort. We just annexed Leon and I actually wasn't aware they were colonizing. I took over a colony here in Sierra Leone what well, is gonna be just killed by the natives very quickly, so let me just screw it, abandon it. Even though I'm not taking that much, that's 105 over extension against the Ottomans, and that's a lot of like, expansion, especially on the Persian guys that I can now see. But honestly, I don't care. I also gave this one promise to Commonwealth for the matter of borders and getting a mission to drive Turkish out of the Europe. So it's plus one military point for my ruler and plus one for the monarch skill in the future. Obviously all of those are going to the trade components. I think this way we should get another merchant from Levant. That's 44% and 55 after the update. Maybe if this province is from Portugal, I'll have enough trade power in my trade combine to get additional merchants this time in Sevilla. Let's see how it's gonna work. I'm also running out of the gaff capacity, but I don't think it's a big of a problem. Yes, Iberia trade combine has 53%, so that's seventh merchant that we have. Our heir just died while the ruler is 67 years old. This is why I kept this guarantee form, because I'll just go for the stage general to avoid having zero legitimacy in rebels everywhere in case there's no error or I have the trash ruler. So let me pick it and after a month tick or even right away that's allowing me to choose a new ruler and I have a choice between a monarch is 533 and gonna keep this guy until he dies or a status 346 but I'll have to change him again in four years and honestly I'll go for this guy because he's good enough and I can keep him for a longer term, especially that he's 20 years old. By the way, Portugal just turned into Brazil, I absolutely love it. Annexation of Aragon is gonna take 10 years right now, but I'm also gonna feed them with more provinces in Iberia. For issues with GAF capacity, because I'm adding so many provinces to a trade company, as you can see everything that is a trade company, that is not a problem, I'm just building some additional card houses to take care of that. How often you guys misuse the Casas Belly because I went for the conquest of Aragon instead of reconquest because it's literally a core of Aragon. Okay, because of that, I need to think about the strategy. We shouldn't take all of the reconquest because it's not the Casas Belly. We should go for the claims. So all of these provinces, as far as these three cores, and then I'll go for provinces for myself because uh, reconquest, I might do one more war to get the reconquest. Right now, I have to go for the conquest. This is the type of the peace deal that I want to take from Spain. That's not that much of Agar's expansions because we improved relations with Great Britain and they are not so willing to ally us because of rivals, same as France. France is bigger of a problem because as you can see they can join our coalition. So to stop the coalition from potentially happening, let's start with the Tlemcian as an easier goal to attack. And then we need to get ready to start the war against the Mamluks and I think I'm gonna get both of my stacks here. I think we can also invest into the institution because it's not so far ahead. Let me take the 14th admin tech and here we can take either something from admin, so for example humanist because we have plenty of admin mana or we can go for something military because we have even more mil mana, so for example maybe quality ideas and I think I'm gonna go for humanist to keep our country stable. It's gonna be a tough moment because the coalition starts forming in Europe. France is no longer there, but Mamluks are already there. Let me go attack Mamluks just to prevent that from happening. Screw it, time for independent company again. That will be barely over the fall summit and we're gonna have even a stable balance with this. But it's a key moment in this campaign to keep expanding without dying to coalition or having permanent issues with the coalition. How about the changes around the combat and the wars in Euphora? I love how easy it is right now to rush the fort, especially we have just a stack of mercs like I do, but I really hate how long are the battles currently. 
In this battle, I think I should win. But also rushing the fort should be of a big help. But I don't know why is it not prioritizing the mercs, but it's fine. We got another fort, so the war scores are going very quickly, and we can go and fight for the Kyra. Especially oh, that this was supposed to go down. It's fine. As always, I'm shift conserving my troops so when they reach the battlefield, there will be full regiments, and that should be an easy of a battle against it. Yes, Mr. Mamluks. It's only time to finish this war. We already have 44% of the war score, and I only want your coastline for the beauty of the borders in the Mediterranean. Okay, I'm really sick of you, Mamluks, and your coalition. Let me take as much as I can, as much money as I'm gonna accept. Whew. Okay, let's see the aggressive expansion. It's actually not that bad. Most importantly, those boys cannot join it, and Great Britain cannot join it. France is gonna be bigger of a problem, but they are Catholic and oh, a lot of these nations actually converted back to Catholic. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. I think I'm gonna focus right now on taking some time before I peace out Clemson because of this. Overextension is super high. Let me try actually concentrating some development so it'll be cheaper to core and it'll be less of overextension for us. Decrease the war exhaustion and core the promises. And I think that's Austria calling us into religious war. Ah, I think it's an easy one. I don't have to do anything there. Let me add everything Alexander to the trade company and then I'm gonna spend all of my money on the card houses to make sure actual gaff capacity is not an issue. I think France just solved our France problem. You know why? Because Spain just became their personal union. So, I don't have to care about my truce with Spain, I can just attack France and take those provisions in the peace against France and I'll also not have to care about my guess, expansion of France because I'll have a truce with them. All I have to care about... Oh yeah, never mind, I don't have to care about Great Britain because they are our best buddies now. Typical AI, imagine Russia, religious war, they are having some issues and they are focusing on getting Constantinople. You know, I would understand if they would just wing the war easily, right? But take a look at Russia. Uh-huh, that's what they are doing. Constantinople is the crucial goal. And the war ended just after that. Thank you so much. Let's go attack France right away because Austria is not at any war and they're gonna help me here. Same as Commonwealth. Take Labour and let's have some fun. Oh, and that gave us a Catholic Empire. So missionary strength as well as tolerance of the true faith. Ah, speaking about Iberia. Annexation of Aragon just ended. So close to keep all of the borders so clean. Mm. Of course, there can't be clear Mediterranean Sea if we keep Cyprus and Rhodes alive. And here I did some big brain moves because I called Commonwealth to my war against France, so they cannot help Rhodes. So this way I can take Rhodes and Cyprus at the same moment. Finally, the coalition is dissolving, so I'll be able to attack Tafilalt to fix the borders. The question is, do we have a castle's body? Of course we do not, so it's time to build it. Now, the issue of the peace deal against France is that I can take everything except one province. I guess I'm gonna leave it for the next war. That's gonna be anyway a lot of overextension and aggressive expansion, but just a right to not care about it much. Let's add everything in Valencia to a trade company to get another merchant to keep this trade. And I think I've lost a merchant in Alexandria, so I'm gonna improve this bonus here as well as a trade center here and after a month we should be having not eight but ten of merchants there we go so protect trade over here as well as transfer trade from persia of course i don't have much trade power around right now because of our extension as you'll see our income at the end of this campaign it will be very fine i really just died and luckily <laughs> the monarchy is four four five so i'm gonna also keep him until he dies which is a lot of time because he's 21 years old. I don't have time to waste 12 years for the truce with France to end. I'm just gonna attack their only ally, Mantua, which is gonna call France and to let me take at least this one point. So let's just do that. Call Commonwealth and Austria to help us. And let's deal with them. Two stacks because France is still having 80,000 troops. Even though we've killed most of them in the recent war, I have to do that again. I'm not gonna play any moment past the achievement. That's why I wanted to go all in at the end to conquer tons of the provinces without looking at the gas expansion just to fix these borders, right? This is why I'm gonna go and attack Provence. Theoretically, they should be protected by France, but they were to France already. 
call Commonwealth to this war and I'm gonna call Tuscany as a co-belligent. This is theoretically Austria, but Austria is helping us in other wars. I don't have to care to take more provinces from them. I think I'm ready for the final peace deal scenario. For comparison, this is my aggressive expansion right now. And now let's start. Mr. Pop, I would like everything except Rome because Rome is too much of the war score. Thank you so much. Then, is there anything else from Provence? Yes, we need Tuscany. From Tuscany, I want everything. Thank you so much. Then from Provence, I think we have pretty much everything. So let's go focus on Parma, as well as Italian provinces of Provence. Yes. And finally from Mantua, I'm not gonna piss out Mantua, I'm gonna piss out France. And from France, of course, we are not gonna accept that much. So let me go with something like this, maybe Malta as well instead of Messina. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. This is how Albania is looking right now. Pretty much Sicily over here standing out. Couldn't really do much about it because France took a personal union over Spain, which slowed us down. But anyway, look, we just got Albania or Iberia achievement, and on upon us, whole world coalition. Yeah, that's what happens when you take that much of lands inside of Europe at once, and that's 300 over extension. But we don't care because the campaign is finishing richly right now so guys if you enjoy this campaign and like me to do more achievement runs in the near future remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified about these videos